Hey, how's it going? I'm Mike, and here are your midweek announcements. On Sunday, the board announced they will bring forward the motion to our membership for Jeremy Light to be our new lead pastor. He will be preaching a candidating sermon this Sunday where he will share his call and his love for the people and the work of our church. There will be an opportunity to interact with Jeremy and pose any questions at our family gatherings scheduled for Monday, January 16th and Thursday, January 19th at 7 p.m. in the Worship Center. An additional session will be held on Thursday, January 19th at 1.30 in the afternoon in the gym. Join us here at the church at one of these sessions next week to learn more. A membership meeting will be held on Monday, January 23rd at 7 p.m. The board welcomes questions and can be reached through board at efreelethbridge.ca. We are hosting a prayer and worship night on Friday, January 27th. Join us in the Kid Zone at 7 p.m. as we gather for a time of worship and praying for our church. We are excited to offer the four-week Empowered to Influence course. This course will benefit every believer, but especially those that are in the workplace. It focuses on seven paradigm shifts that need to take place for every believer to become effective salt and light. This course will take place on Monday, starting on January 23rd. For more information or to register, go to efreelethbridge.ca, the Church Center app, or you can call the church office. Spice Up January is back, and we are excited to continue our support of the Interfaith Food Bank. Food banks do not often receive spices, simple things like salt and pepper, seasoning salt and vegetable oil. Basics in many of our pantries, but not often found in food hampers. So when you're out getting your groceries, grab an extra box of salt or a bag of chili powder and bring it to the shelf by the coffee bar. Our Lost and Found is getting full of winter items, water bottles, dishes, and other random items. Please check the Lost and Found by the office and Kids Zone doors to see if any of these items belong to you. On February 1st, any remaining items will be donated. Well, that's all for me. We'll see you on Sunday.